So if you're one of those people who recently made a transition to Windows 10, and you're still searching for your ideal game recording program, your search has finally come to an end. In this video, we're going to be looking into a program called MSI Afterburner, which is actually a program for system overclocking, but it also has an inbuilt screen recorder that you can use to record your gameplay in Full HD. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, set the settings, and finally, record your gameplay using MSI Afterburner. So stay tuned. Okay, so first off, we want to download MSI Afterburner. So to do that, we're going to open up our web browser. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome. And I'm going to simply do a Google search by typing in MSI Afterburner. Then I'm going to click on the link from the official website. This download link will be included in the video description, so you guys don't have to go through all of this. It's really painful, I know. But if you do decide to download it like this, then you want to click on Downloads on this page. And you want to download MSI Afterburner by clicking on this big red download link right here. Once the download is complete, you want to find the installation file. In my case, it's on my desktop and you want to run it. Double click. First, you're going to select your language. In my case, I'm going to leave it on English and I'm going to click OK. We're going to click Next right here. Accept the license. Click Next. Now right here, it's important to install both of these programs, not only MSI Afterburner, but also the second one, because if you do not install the second one, then you won't have the screen recorder option. So make sure that both of these boxes are checked and then click next. Right here, you want to click next, install, and wait for it to install. Now once Afterburner is installed, you're going to have to install the second program as well, the same way you did the first. So you're going to select your language, click OK, hit Next, accept the license, Next again. This is the destination folder, we're going to leave it as it is, click Next, and Install. Once it's done, you simply have to click on Finish, but before that we're going to uncheck this option here because we do not want to see the readme file. And then we're simply going to click finish. Same thing goes here. We're just going to uncheck the readme option and we're going to leave run MSI Afterburner checked. Simply hit finish. Now if you did everything properly, you should have a program that looks something like this. Now as I said in the intro of this video, this is a program for overclocking your system. We're not going to be using it for that, that's a whole nother story. We're just going to use it to record gameplay. And before we can actually capture our videos, we have to enter certain settings. So you want to click down here on this little settings button. It might be hard to find, but it's right here. So we're going to click on that. Now you should get this window. What you want to do is go to the video capture tab. And this is where you enter your video capture settings. First off, we're going to go through the global video capture hotkeys. This is the place where you can enter the hotkeys that will initiate video capture. And you can also enter a hotkey to pre-record certain videos, but we're not going to be going through that. For video capture, enter your hotkey. In my case, I decided to go with Control plus R, which initiates the recording sequence, and also it stops the recording sequence when I press it the second time. Moving down to video capture properties. Now for video format, you want to go with MJPG compression. For a container format, you can select two types, AVI or MKV. I go with AVI. Now down here, you can select the quality of the video. For best quality, of course, you want to go 100%. Now, frame size. This is the place where you actually select the resolution quality of your video. Now for YouTube standards, 720p is probably a minimum. So 16 by 9, which is widescreen, 720p is the minimum. But if you want to go full HD and widescreen, you want to select this option right here. So we're going to go with that. Now, 
beneath we select how many frames per second we want this recorder to capture. The maximum is 100 frames per second, the minimum is 1. The minimum standards for HD videos on YouTube today is 30 frames per second, so I'm going to leave it at that. But if you have a game that can achieve more frames per second and you want to capture that sort of quality, then by all means, go higher. Down here you can select the frame rate limit. I'm going to leave it at the maximum. And right here you have your video folder, which is the location on your computer where MSI Afterburner will store the videos that you save. So if you want to select a different folder, then you can simply click on Browse, find a certain location, select it, and hit OK. In my case, I'm going to leave it at the default one. And if you want to quickly jump to that folder, you can simply hit this View button right here, and it will automatically open the folder or the location where the videos are stored, and they will be prominently displayed. We're going to close this for now. Moving down to the video capture compatibility properties. Now right here, I actually don't mess around with the settings that much except for one thing. This option right here that says enable gamma correction. From my experience, the videos that this program captures tend to be a bit oversaturated. So I check this box right here just to correct the colors a bit. As for you, it's totally your decision. So we're going to skip everything else under the video capture compatibility properties and move on to the more essential audio capture properties. For audio source 1, you're probably going to want to record the sound that your game makes. So right here what you probably want to do is select the WASAPI playback device and then you'll get this box underneath which will allow you to select your device. You can leave it at auto select or you can simply check your device manually. I'm going to leave it at auto select. Now the audio source 2 section is the part where you're going to be entering your settings for recording your voice through your microphone. So what you want to do is click on this drop down menu right here and go with direct sound capture device and then underneath again you can let it auto select your mic or you can select the one you want manually. I'm going to select it manually and leave it at that. And finally we have two more options right here which is downmix multi-channel audio to stereo. If you want to go with that you can check this box here. I leave it unchecked. But one thing that is crucial for recording audio is this option right here which is called mix multiple audio tracks. If this is not checked then the audio recorded from your microphone simply won't exist. I don't know why but it turns out that it just works like that. So if you want your voice to be heard you want to make sure that this box here is checked and then simply hit OK to apply the settings. So once you entered all your settings, finally you want to start recording. Now, the first and most important thing is that MSI Afterburner is running in the background. You can minimize it, but you can't close it because if you do, it won't work. So you want to minimize it. Also, you're going to want to go down to your system tray area and make sure that this little program is running in the background. So you can click on it to open it up. It can be open or minimized, but it has to be running in the background in order for the screen capture to work. Run your game, and when you're ready to start the recording process, simply hit the hotkey that you assign. So in my case, it was Control plus R. When the recording starts, it will be indicated with this little circle thingy up in the upper left corner. And finally, when you press your hotkey one more time, the purple thingy will disappear telling you that the recording is no longer taking place. If you're asking yourself, what do the videos look like, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you some footage recorded with MSI Afterburner. Aiden, we had a very unpleasant meeting. Well, I didn't kill you. We used to get along. I taught you so much. Look at you, big time hacker now. Is that you in the news? The vigilante? You mentioned a second hacker at the Merlot job. But we already knew there was another hacker. You found something new. Ah, intriguing, isn't it? Come, let's meet and I'll explain. Look out!
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I really do hope you found this video helpful. As always, I want to thank everybody for watching. You know the drill. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay strong.